I'm Mark and I'm going to show you how to install the Azure CLI 2.0 on a computer running Linux. What I'm going to show you will work on most Linux distributions. In this video, I'm going to show how it's done on a server running Ubuntu 16.04 LTS and a server running Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3. The process is pretty similar on both servers. There are some prerequisites that you may need to install if they're not present. Let's do that first on the Ubuntu server. So here goes, sudo apt-get update double ampersand sudo apt-get install minus y the lib ssl dash dev package lib ffi dash dev package python dash dev package and the build essential package hit return and we'll let that run let's flip over to our red hat server the prerequisite install is a little different mainly just because red hat uses a different package manager to ubuntu so we sudo yum check dash update semicolon sudo yum install minus y gcc libffi dash devl python dash devl and open ssl dash devl okay and that's the red hat prerequisites installing so let's go back to our ubuntu server which should now be ready for us to install the azure cli right so we're going to use curl so curl minus l https and then the URL, aka.ms slash install Azure CLI, pipe to bash, hit return on that. It's downloading the script. Uh, it's asking a few questions here about where to install things. So we'll just accept the default values and off it goes. This part of the installation is exactly the same on the Red Hat server. So you'd enter the same curl command and the installation would happen the same way. At the end, we're prompted to update our path and RC file. So we'll just accept the defaults for this and we're done. Okay, let's restart the shell. And now if we type AZ or AZ and it works, let's just confirm the version of the CLI that's been installed. And as you can see, version two is installed. That's it. We're ready to manage Microsoft Azure from a Linux server. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow me on Twitter for more.